Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to talk about these farmers that are in Belgium, Brussels to be exact, they are uh, rebelling against the government. They're standing up and they're saying, you know what, we've had enough of your ESGism. We have done what you've asked and now you're wanting more and we're not going to be able to produce food for the planet. Uh, the agricultural situation over there is amazing. They have top of the line stuff. They produce a, I think if I remember right, they're the second largest producer per capita on the planet, agricultural wise. This is really big news. And keep in mind, as you see this stuff roll out, this is to, to worship the ESGism. These green weenies are doing everything they can to destroy the planet. Uh, in my opinion, it seems to be uh, the same as when other uh, tyrannical governments uh, started cutting the food supply. So, you know, we'll take care of it. You know, this goes back to Mao, Stalin, uh, uh, Little Mustache Man. This has already been done before. Tractors roll into Brussels in farmer protest over plans to limit nitrogen emissions. Here's some pictures of it. And this is, you know, these farmers have everything else to do. I imagine the last thing they want to do is be protesting in the streets. This is very out of character for farmers. You know, farmers jobs never, they, they've always got something to do. I can't imagine them having time to do this. Farmers in Belgium, Belgium's northern region of Flanders drove thousands of tractors into Brussels on Friday in protest against a new regional government plan to limit nitrogen emissions. Police estimated the number of tractors clogging the streets of Brussels at 20 at 2700. That's a lot of tractors. Many were decorated with big signs affecting uh, reflecting the farmer's anger, like this one. Not sure what that says, uh, and he's holding up some sweet potatoes, it looks like. But, guys, this is, um, it's ridiculous. Agricultural organizations said in a joint statement that the nitrogen agreement as it now stands, will cause a socioeconomic carnage. They wanted the agreement to better reflect future prospects. Uh, the last little uh, part of that got cut off. But the point is, this is nuts. It's been done before. And if they get you where you don't have food, they got you right where they want you. And I know some people that live in Belgium, actually and super good people kind uh like i said their their farming outfit is second to none and they're, they're pushing this nitrogen emissions i mean it this really is the end all be all of authoritarianism i mean this is a big big deal and when you see 2700 tractors going down the highway and uh, down the city streets, when you know for sure they've got plenty of other places to put their resources, their fuel, their time, their tractors, everything. These guys rely on farming. I mean, their family relies on farming. I remember in Australia when they had these droughts, and I'm not sure if they're still doing that or not, but still going through that. But there was farmers killing themselves because that's all they had done their whole life is farm. They're, they had an inherent ability to grow food, that's what their grandparents' grandparents did. That's all they've ever done. And then they had this drought and they couldn't do it anymore. And it was just, uh, they were losing everything. And, and and that was due to a drought. But this is due to nothing but somebody telling you that you can't grow food. You can't grow food anymore because of nitrogen emissions. That's it. It's, it's a... It's completely out of my wheelhouse of understanding. I don't get it, and it really, uh, well, I do get it. I understand what they're trying to do. Uh, they're trying to control the planet with this uh, ESGism 
the, there, O oh, worshipful master. You watch them. It is a way, whoever worships the ESG of Jesus master the most is, is uh, you know, moves up in the hierarchy of authoritarianism. You know, you got the WEF saying, oh, you did good, little boy. Good job. You really controlled your people. And we're getting that <laughs> nitrogen emissions down. What they're doing is they're getting the food down so they can control you later. There's no other way for me to see this. You can't have people uh, running around without food. It, 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 does, it makes zero sense. I can't even elaborate on it too much because it's you look at it and you just immediately know. <laughs> if you have a brain, you do. So, guys, in the comments, I want you to... Let me know if you think I'm right. And if you think I'm wrong, put that in there too. Hit the like button, subscribe, and ring the bell. And do not forget about the Wednesday Night Live. Me and Stacy are going to be doing a Wednesday Night Live. And this Wednesday Night Live, we're going to be giving away possibly 10 ounces of silver. <laughs> That'll be really cool. We're probably going to be... Um, maybe taking names. I'm going to figure out a way to, uh, I don't know if one person should get 10 ounces. Uh, it's actually donated, uh, by the economic preppers channel. Uh, they're, they're doing a, uh, they want to give away some silver on my channel. And I know my subscribers like not confused with love silver. They really like silver. And, um, I know you guys do. Just make sure you're subscribed because a lot of people have been unsubscribed lately for some reason. Uh, a lot of our channels, the people that are trying to show truth and, and talk truth are really getting shadow banned. I, I have people tell me all the time, I never get your notifications anymore. I was unsubscribed. So please check the subscribe button. And if you want to not miss anything, hit the bell. Uh, that'd be awesome. You won't miss anything. But until then, I will see you. In the morning, maybe tonight, I got another hot topic to talk about, too. So, guys, have an awesome, awesome day. I'll see you in the next one. Later. gonna end is it gonna keep going what's the deal with the stream yard <laughs> having trouble connecting